So now, for this video of this series, we're going to bring back the push button switch. We're going to use a couple of them. And what we're going to do is make a switch based version of the AND logic gate. So it's an AND gate part of a logic circuit. There's a number of different uh, logic gates. So here's the AND gate truth table. They come with their own truth table, the different gates. And we have two switches, so we have two inputs right there. If we had uh, more switches, we would just keep adding rows for more inputs. The main takeaway is that uh, this is digital, ones and zeros, but one means on in this case, and zero means off. The LED is either on, and the switch is either turned on or turned off. It's naturally off. In any case, the AND gate does have a schematic symbol because you'll find them in circuits at times. So that'll be a digital AND gate, probably an integrated circuit or something, maybe even transistors. But there'll be uh, just a schematic symbol to let you know it's an AND gate, that all the inputs need to be on or high for the output to be on or high. And so we'll look at the uh, breadboard build really quick. We have the uh, switch right there, top of it, to the positive supply. And the bottom of the switch comes to the top of the other switch via this jumper there. Then we have the bottom of that switch there. We will take a 220 ohm resistor. That's plenty to protect the LED from 5 volts right there. And uh, about the minimum. And then we will grab the LED longly, the anode goes to the resistor, that's more positive side, and then shortly the cathode goes to where that gray jumper is because that is the more negative side. So now, the LED is off because both switches are off. That's one state, we can press one switch, LED stays off. Press the other switch, the LED stays off. That's the first three states. Since there's two inputs, we go to the fourth state where both of the inputs are on or high, and the LED is on right there. So that's the basics of the AND gate. You'll see that pop up from time to time. Not a complicated circuit, but an interesting circuit. And one of the logic gates, so an important circuit if you learn electronics in more detail. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.